Hey guys and gals, Chartreuse here, bringing you some more Minecraft Redstone today. Today we are taking a look at this bar graph I made. Now what it is displaying is this redstone signal strength right here. It is actually measuring the strength of this redstone signal on this piece of dust and displaying it as a bar graph. Now it displays all levels up to 15, level 15, which is one short of this full thing, and down to zero, which is an empty bar graph. I just have it set up uh, using a bunch of command blocks. Probably the only way of doing this. Can't think of a shorter way right now. But what it's doing, I have my little sawtooth here showing that countdown. But what it does is it has tests for blocks on each of these ones out on the outside here and on the top row. And it is testing for a redstone wire at that location with a signal strength of zero in this case for a non-existent strength, one for one strength, up to seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Here, and it tests for a signal strength of 15. Now, when it, when it occurs the right signal strength, it will turn on the comparator right on the output. As you can see here, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, and then it runs down the bottom row, which is a pain in the C. So what it does on the, on the bottom ones, where it doesn't exceed the half height of the graph, is it will set the top block to air. Have to do this, because otherwise it won't always clear correctly. And what we do, oh, yeah, and then the bottom one to air on this case, because this is our strength of zero, so we want empty bar graph. Otherwise, we'll set 78, which is the snow covers. I didn't know what their proper name is, so I went and used their ID, since I can't find anywhere online that lists a nice, clear listing of all the data values. So, zero is this, is one strength. And then here we have a strength, a uh, data value of one, two, and so on. We build up our graphs like this. And we get up to 8, which is the last one, which is a 7. So now on to the top row, from 9 to 15, what we do is instead of setting the bottom, a top block to air, we set the bottom block to a block of snow. Because we want, because it needs to exceed this halfway mark, and we need a base to rest our uh, snow on. It won't float in midair. So what then what we do is we follow the same pattern of a 0 up until... Uh, 6, which is our top block, corresponding to 15 here. And that's how the graph works. You can see it counting down as our signal decays through our comparator. Running on the 3 clock here. Hope someone finds this useful, might find a use for it, but it takes any single strength of redstone put onto that block and will display it here within uh, 3 ticks, because that's what my clock is set on. Say I want this to be a 15, it can mess up our thing slightly, put that there, and you can see 15. That is a full strength. Fortunately, one shy, can't really do anything about that, except raise the zero up to a one, but that just looks misleading, so I'll leave it how it is. Hope you enjoy. Maybe you'll find some use for display in a map somewhere, or maybe indicating some level of chess in your storage space full, maybe? Perhaps. Fortunately, it'd be creative only, because you have to use the command blocks for it, but other than that, this works quite well, and as always, have a nice day.